So Brittany and I are in Maine this morning uh, working on the terrifying 25s. And uh, we're going to be doing a sunrise on South Baldface Mountain. So the T25 is the Baldface Circle Trail, which we're going to be taking up. There's supposed to be some Class 2 scrambles, some ledges. It's supposed to be really exciting. Um, we're going to be doing the whole loop, so then we're going to be doing North Baldface second, and then back down to the car. The whole loop is 9.8 miles. So here we go. All right, so we're about two and a half miles in, and it's been a thick fog. See maybe 50 feet in front of us. Kind of makes me a little dizzy. But uh, I have service. And the summit forecast is still showing crystal clear. So I really, I really hope they're right because I really want to see the views on this one. It's supposed to be the best, prettiest views on the 52 at a view list. All right, so we got really turned around in the campsites because it's so foggy, you can't see five feet in front of you. But now we're on like a rock slide and it's soaking wet and it's slick. Um, I think we better veer off to the left and hug the tree line. Actually, I'm gripping decent. There's only sections. I guess just carefully placed footsteps. But this is pretty cool. Oh, here's a, yeah, there's a trail marker. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. <laughs> How you doing? I'm stuck. <laughs> what do you mean you're stuck? Why are you sitting down? Because I can't get a step. It's too slick. Oh. All right, well, she's going to finagle her way over here, and we'll continue on. Yeah, so we're still on a huge slide. It's not too terribly steep, but it's really awesome. And I'm super sad that we can't see it. But to make things more interesting, it's a week before Halloween. It's so cloudy you can't see, and it's a terrifying 25 at night. So that's like super terrifying. <laughs> oh, man, it's pretty cool though, right? Yeah. Oh shit, it's about to get steep. Really steep. Yeah, I think so. Oh my gosh, I'm falling. Uh, I'll check the map for exact coordinates. Um, you might have veered off a little bit. All right, gotta put the GoPro down, check out the all, all trails. Dude, it's slick. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, that is slick. Oh my gosh, hold on. Oh my gosh, I got, I'm down on my knees. Oh, wow. Well, this shit's about to get real. Holy shit. I'll stay here in case you slide backwards. I'll try to get grab you. Is it grippy? No. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Holy shit. <laughs> Just stay there in case I need help. So oh, okay. All right, I'm going to try to I'm going to try to be crazy and Oh, I got some handholds. Oh my gosh, that's slippery. Dude, that's not easy. Luckily, there's a couple little spots of holes. Wait. Oh my god. Are you going the right way? I think we're going to go We have to go straight. You're going the wrong way. I'm fine. I'll go to the left side. Okay. I'll do my way there. Okay. Let me do my own thing. I'm going to follow you. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. You are an animal. That is a mountain monkey. Oh gosh. Do you see any trail markers? There's a cairn right in front of my face. Oh, that's so perfect. Right there. Right oh, there dude. <laughs> dude, that's so perfect. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is nuts. I mean, this is straight up but not bonkers. All right, I gotta climb this now. Uh, 
sprayed his headlights to strap to it. I got nipple lights. It's like it's sprayed headlights. <laughs> it's for vlogging at night. <laughs> it actually really helps in this fog hiking. Guys, this is a serious climb. This is. Um, look how tall it is. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And everything's wet. Um, you might need my help, actually. No, I will do it myself. Holy crap. Um, Somehow. I, I think you need to get up here. Nope, let me do my thing. <laughs> <laughs> you freaking mountain monkey. I on poles on way. Oh, that's why I never take poles on scrambles. I shall do this. Oh gosh. <laughs> I think, I think I... Wait, 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 I think I got it. I think I got it. There's a big crack right here. Yeah, you got a big crack. No, not on the rocks. Okay. All right, my I turn. It. I got it, I got it. I'm gonna go a slightly easier way. I'm gonna do the steps off to the side. There's steps? I told you to go that way. Crazy. I do what I want. You win. You win for the, the, the most terrifying, the most terrifying way up. I think this is still it. This looks trailish. It's been very hard to navigate in the sense that usually there's trekking pole scratches in all the rocks. There's no trekking pole scratches anywhere. I think this is it, pretty sure. Oh yeah, this is nuts. Um, oh yeah, there's a little Karen right there. You lead the way, baby. This is like, um... Oh, we're going into a ski this this has been going on. Around and look at like the trees. This has been going on for like a straight up half hour. That looks so cool. That looks wicked awesome. Look at you got the pines. Yeah. <laughs> oh, are, are we dipping into tree line a little bit? No. No, because there's bald faces. There ain't going to be no tree line. Ain't going to be no tree line. Still 0.9 from the summit of Baldface, but uh, I think this is like the summit of a bump. <laughs> look at, look at behind us. Tell me that's just not the coolest thing ever. <laughs> Hit the summit of the, the summit of the bump. No, I don't even know if this is the summit. Oh. It looks pretty cool there. Oh yeah. It looks wicked. Alright, now this is totally bald face. I understand the name. Yeah. It makes sense. I shaved my face last night, so I also have a bald face. <laughs> oh, there's a Karen way up there. This is a weird angle. I know. It's trippy. So I just took off my headlight and uh, we're starting to be able to see a little bit from twilight, which there is none, but I wouldn't be surprised it's past sunrise right now. I haven't checked the time. Looks like there's a bunch of Kieran's up here. It just keeps on going. Oh man, what are you eating? Caesar french fries? Green pea snacks? <laughs> <laughs> yes. These are my favorite. Yeah, we're chilling here, taking a snack break, since there's no point in rushing up for the sunrise. I'm trying to let the fog clear. Yeah, trying to let the fog uh, blow over. But, uh... <sighs> this is really relaxing. It's like 55 degrees, and there's no wind, so it's chill. So we have like 0.6 now till we get to the summit it's showing like 200 more feet of elevation gain so it's pretty much just gonna be a flat flat walk a few pine trees oh, over there 
But there's a huge bald face. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to check. This that a, that, that Karen's like amazing. Karen. What that thing's like six foot tall. I know. I'm gonna have to check. I I don't think we're on an official summit. That thing's but if I didn't have an all trails or a GPS, I would say that that's a summit. I have to figure this out though. Oh my gosh, guys, look at the size of that. Brittany, that's like eight foot tall. <laughs> wow, that's really cool. Oh, that is cool. What does the sign say? What does the sign say? Hey, why are you running? <laughs> oh my gosh, what the heck is going on up here? Nah, slippery broke both these men. Check the check, check the map. Okay. Oh wait, no, no, this is definitely something. This is something. There are so many cool, amazing things to see up here. Wow. Hope you guys enjoy this. These rain hikes. These are not about the views, these hikes. These are about the memories and experiences. I got a ghost town vibe. Like, we're yeah. in the old town. I, I know, it's a week before Halloween, so it makes it all that more epic. We're gonna go this way. This goes towards South Baldface. Saying goodbye to this section. And we're about to head into the Pines. So amazing. Swampy up here. Oh, mud pit. That looks so freaking cool. Back out again, short section of uh, the woods, or whatever you want to call it. <sighs> it's just so crazy. And the, f and the crazy thing is, is the summit is only 3,500 feet. It's not even a high peak. It feels like we're in another world. It's just going on and on and on. to navigate if it's foggy which is really good because you could definitely get turned around up here if it's thick and into the woods we go again oh wow oh it looks really windy up there strong gusts in here and uh, clouds are ripping by Whew. we're getting really close to the summit now I see it up ahead. I don't think you're looking at the same spot as me. Oh wait, maybe you're right. It is a little farther. I thought I saw a huge cairn, but it's still going up. We're getting super close though. Here we are. This is it. The summit of South Boldface. 
Holy, I'm blown over. Oh, I love you. That was one hell of a terrifying 25 climb. Woo! That, that is mountain weather forecast for you. Crystal clear, not a chance of clouds. I even checked Mount Washington summit forecast. Crystal clear, not a chance of clouds. Which is why you should always be prepared for anything. I don't know why we're in clouds. We have spikes, we have rain. Oh yeah, we have everything. Even though they say crystal clear, this is what happens. Yeah. But, I mean, you saw the view. You saw it. This is supposed to be a really nice view. It's supposed to be so, like the nicest. Now you know what to expect on the climb. <laughs> Hopefully you'll get the view too. Yeah, well te technically this, this vlog was actually mainly about the T25 trail. So, you saw it. I mean, it is wicked. Totally worth it just for the climb. Yeah. No views. These uh, are a bonus. <laughs> yeah, I see Karen's over there, so I'm assuming we go that way. I'll start walking a little bit, and then I'll check the GPS to make sure we're headed in the right direction. And we're off to North Boldface now. Woo, it's getting windy. All right, so when you guys walk up to the South Boldface sign, it looks like you can go to the left. But uh, actually, heading over to North Boldface, you have to make a sharp right and uh, dip down into the trees. This is where the trail is headed. Tight. You can see a little herd path down there. But uh, as long as you guys got your GPS, you should never, ever get lost. That summit reminded me a lot of our experience on Mount Height in the fog. It's pretty cool. But uh, we're pretty much done with the elevation gain for the day. I think we got like four or five hundred total more but we've got another six miles i love these rain vibes what do you guys prefer an open bald summit or like a, a trail like this where you have low pines and greenery i prefer this type of trail i'm not really a fan of the long bald open summits I think they're cool occasionally, but I really prefer the greenery with occasional views. We are dipping down into some thick, foggy forest now, and I gotta say, this looks so wicked awesome. This is literally one of the coolest forests ever. I can't even explain it. It's it's so cool. I've never seen like 50 foot pines like on the summit of a mountain. Like they're usually so tiny. I mean, these trees are seriously tall and it is so wicked awesome looking in here. You got tree beard. Wow. Looks like we got a nice little scramble up in these woods. Oh. oh my gosh. Wait. Oh my gosh, my footing oh, is bad, bad footing. <laughs> <laughs> we are getting awfully close to North Bald Face, but all I see is white face everywhere, white in my face, white mist, white clouds, white face, two white faces right here, a lot of white faces going on, I don't even know what I'm saying, I think I'm high on steam. So now we're officially climbing up the last bump to get to the summit of North Boldface, and it is a very, very steep in the woods trail, as you can see. Oh. Every time you climb on this hike, it's a scramble. Like there's, there's no easy climbing. It's just, oh my gosh, dude, it's straight up. Oh my gosh, dude, it's literally vertical. <laughs> the 
this is fun. <sighs> oh my god, there's more. Oh my gosh, dude, it just keeps on going. Oh. Holy crap. <sighs> so this is the final bump to the summit, officially. The summit's probably like 100 yards behind me. Just want to show Brittany scrambling up some of this, show the grade. It's all fours kind of grade. <laughs> you got it? You ready? Yeah. You need a big step, ready? <laughs> nice. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Don't worry, I got it. <laughs> uh, as soon as we get to the top of this last bit of climbing, we are at the summit. Alrighty. That is it. That's it. This is it. Let's see what this sign says. You have made it. You have reached. So, summit of North Baldface for low peak number two for the day. <laughs> views are you. I've been staring at your ass the whole way. Oh. All right. Well, we are off. It's really no point of sticking around unless you like to just sit in thick, white, cold, breezy clouds. But uh, looks like the trail goes down that way. Or maybe that way. Or maybe that way. <laughs> or maybe that way. I know. Well, we're going to figure it out and we're going to get down off this mountain. And uh, if there's anything interesting on the way down, because it's a totally different trail, it's still the same trail, but it's the other side. It's Bald Face Circle Trail. So, Emerald Pool. I want to check that out. We're going to check out Emerald Pool. And uh, if there's any crazy scrambling coming down this, we'll be sure to let you know and show you guys what the climbing and scrambling is like to be expected. And uh, we'll see you guys in a second. Did you just fall? Because I totally filmed that. <laughs> no. <laughs> On our way down into the cloudy abyss. This is a fun descent. It's very steep and it's effing nuts. Definitely wish I had poles today with all the wet rocks going down. It's like a slip and slide for me. At least this rock is pretty grippy. It's actually mega grippy. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know. I hope I don't fall. Oh gosh. I don't want to fall. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm like bent over into a 90 degree angle trying to keep flat feet. More, more contact patch. Oh. Okay. Good. Good. I made it. I made it. Alright. So we're at another major junction. Um, so that is not the way we're going. That is a big puddle. <laughs> That's the Bicknell Ridge Trail, that's the way we're not going. We are continuing on this trail right here, which is a continuation of the Bold Face Circle Trail. So, yeah, a little confusing. GPS has helped, because uh, there's a lot of trail junctions when they do hit. So beautiful up here. Did you just get a woof of fresh cut wood, like, like a saw just went through it? Yeah, maybe a. What about chewed it up? It's a big random rock. Yeah, that's a big random rock. Is right. Beautiful up here. Oh hey, look, we're about to start descending off the ridge, and the sun is trying to poke through. I guarantee you, the second we get back down into the trees, everything's gonna open up and it's gonna be crystal clear. <laughs> Gotta love it. Hilarious. Oh, here's the junction? We gotta go as far right as possible. So, what does this trail junction say? There's a lot of them. Bold face circle trail. We have 3.7 miles to the car and it's showing right here. So, this is the farthest most right trail there is. Is that a hut? Or is that a rock? Oh, it looks like a hut. It has like a roof. It looks like a roof. All right, so now we got 3.7 miles down to the car. It's probably gonna be steep. 
it's a good one. This really is. It's a really, really ridiculously steep trail. Oh, do you need this pole? No. I just need to root all my feet off. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna throw your pole. Oh. You can have that one. Oh gosh. Oh. If you can get it out. Oh gosh. It's stuck. Oh gosh. Uh, it's stuck in the nook. Oh. Oh dude, it's really stuck. Oh. I, you were... I, I can't though. I can't. I can't. I need. I need this tree. Oh, wait. Oh. Okay. Ooh. What do you think of that? Was funny. <laughs> Look at all this. It's just scrambles all the way down. I know. I. I don't know. Would you recommend anyone do this in the rain like we did? Or do you think this was kind of maybe a dry day hike? Preferred dry day, but Yeah, preferred dry day. It's doable if if you're crazy and you got a lot of experience. I definitely would never attempt this as a beginner right. with everything Should being wet. Uh, with everything being wet, yeah. Know your body, know your limitations, know your shoes, know know everything. But, um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing this when it's wet, not even remotely. Yeah. We just dropped out of those pine scrambles into this beautiful open area and I uh, thought it looked really cool. Give you a little different uh, visual vibe for the vlog. But, uh... Yeah, I think we're done with the crazy scrambles. Looks like we're gonna be able to start moving now. Yeah. So we got like two miles to the car and as we're getting lower, the fog is getting thicker and it's just such a cool vibe to have all the smells of the fresh leaves. And uh, yeah, I always like the fog vibe. It's one of my favorites. Getting close to the car and uh, just connected in with a brook. Um, there's something called Emerald Pool. It's like a one-tenth spur off the trail. We're gonna go check that out. It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> 